Technology is advancing faster than ever before, but the iPhone in your pocket is not the only thing improved by it. Entire cities are being completely reimagined and rebuilt to take the advantage of current technology and make the lives of residents better. Such cities are called smart cities, which aim to be fully sustainable and rely on renewable energy. Smart cities are also full of cool technology that makes living there more convenient and efficient for everyone involved. In today's video, we will be visiting the top 10 largest smart cities by 2050. Before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video. Let's begin! Number 10. Toronto, Canada Toronto is home to almost 3 million Canadians and is one of the smartest cities in the country. It already has dozens of green spaces all around the city, including the 400-acre High Park. However, Toronto wants to take it up a notch and become a real city of the future. Canadian government contracted Sidewalk Labs, which is a company owned by Alphabet Inc., to develop a smart waterfront district in Quayside. Right now, Quayside is a nice strip full of nightlife, but Sidewalk Labs plans to evolve it into one of the biggest civil engineering wonders in the world. This company aims to install all sorts of smart systems that would collect data from the environment and people in order to increase the productivity and sustainability of the district. For example, smart sidewalks could collect data on the number and pace of the steps, which would give useful insights into the behavior of people. Number 9. Reykjavik, Iceland While Iceland's capital Reykjavik is far from being the largest city, it's one of the smartest. The local public transport company Strato has recently released an app that's been downloaded by almost 70% of the city's population, enabling efficient commuting. Additionally, the local government of this city has recently launched a project called Better Reykjavik. It's an online platform where citizens can collaborate with the city's administration and suggest changes and improvements. Such a democratic approach to Reykjavik's future paints a bright picture and we might hear the name of this capital more and more. Number 7. Berlin, Germany Berlin is world famous for its underground EDM scene. However, the capital of Germany has much more to offer than techno and illicit substances. In 2015, the Senate of Berlin launched the Smart City Berlin Strategy Project, which aims to make Berlin the poster boy for smart cities. Many public and private businesses as well as technology institutions have joined forces to make this plan a reality and in the next three decades make Berlin even more amazing than it is today. The main goal of this project is to make the city sustainable and ecological by cutting down on coal fuels and employing renewable energy sources like solar and wind power. Additionally, the plan is to transform every inch of free space into something useful. For example, it's planned to build an entirely new district on the bank of the Spree and Landwehr Canal by 2050. Number 6. Amsterdam, the Netherlands Amsterdam is already one of the smartest cities on Earth. There are more bicycles than people here, and the cycling infrastructure is probably the best in the world. It means that not many people drive cars, and pollution levels are low. It all began in 2009, when the Smart City initiative was proposed, which transformed already bike-friendly Amsterdam into cycling heaven. What's fascinating about Amsterdam is that all traffic and public transport data is available to everyone, essentially making it open source. Various developers have used it to come up with smart solutions to minimize traffic and accidents. However, it's just the beginning for Amsterdam. It has promised to become the first city in the world with zero emissions by 2025. That's just four years from now. Number 5. Paris, France Paris has a population of over 2 million people, but over 30 million tourists visit it annually. Such an immense amount of tourism screams for great public transport, and Paris is about to change the game with its Grand Paris Express project. It's a fully automated metro line project spanning over 125 miles throughout Paris. It will add 68 new metro stations, which will make public transit excellent for residents and tourists alike. However, that's not all. Paris is also aiming to refurbish all 4,500 public buses of Paris into new era natural gas or electric vehicles. That's a prime example of how to deal with the ecological damage of tourism. 
Number 4. New Cairo, Egypt Cairo is the capital of Egypt, but not many people know that in 2000, a new Cairo was built. It's located 20 miles away from Cairo and was built to ease the overpopulation in the capital. However, New Cairo is projected to be much more than that. There are plans to build 21 new residential districts around the city, making it one of the biggest cities in Egypt. However, it's far from being just a residential area. Egypt plans to build a humongous solar energy farm next to New Cairo, which would not only power the city, but also the surrounding areas. The farm is projected to be 35 square miles in size, making it by far the biggest solar energy farm on Earth. Egypt is not exactly known for renewable energy, so such a milestone is a huge step in the right direction to preserve and save our planet from the upcoming climate crisis. Going back to New Cairo, there's also a plan to build an amusement park that would be four times bigger than Disneyland. It's estimated that in the following decades, the population of the city will grow from 300,000 people to an astonishing 6 million, making it the hub of North Africa. Number 3. Dukum, Oman Dukum is a relatively new city in Oman. Just six decades ago, in the 1960s, it was a small fishing village, but Oman began rapidly developing it in the 2010s. In 2010, the population of the city was just 11,200 people, but this number is expected to increase to 250,000 people by 2040, creating over 150,000 new jobs. Unlike most other cities on this list that seek to be smart in an environmentally friendly way, Dukum is different. It has approved a coal-powered energy plant and Intercontinental Hotels is planning to build a 213-room, 5-star hotel. Dukum is aiming to become the second largest city in Oman by 2050 and rebrand itself from an oil-rich port into a luxurious tourist attraction similar to Dubai. Number 2. Manila, the Philippines Manila is the capital of the Philippines with a population of almost 2 million people. It's one of the densest areas in the Philippines and is the financial hub of the country. However, it aims to be much more than that. Recently, the government of the Philippines has revealed the new Manila Bay project, which plans to build a new offshore city adjacent to Manila. The new city is dubbed the City of Pearl because of its unique and never-before-seen civil engineering. It will be an artificial peninsula, which will be separated by a canal, splitting it into two separate areas. There will be an automated metro system, a golf course, and even water taxis that will make transit between two parts of the city possible. However, what's most impressive about this project is that it's planned to be 407 hectares in size, making it three times larger than Los Angeles. It will utilize solar and tidal energy to power itself up and aim to be 100% sustainable. HPA, which is one of the most respected construction firms in Hong Kong, has commented that this city is the first Asian smart city in the development stage. So the city of Pearl is more than empty promises and we only have to wait and see how this piece of the future will unfold in front of our eyes. Number 1. Neom, Saudi Arabia We saved the best for last. In 2017, just three months after becoming the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman made possibly the biggest announcement in the country's history. He shared the project of Neom City with the world. It's a $500 billion city that has an area of over 10,000 square miles. Just let that sink in for a moment. This city is going to be almost 10 times bigger than London, 20 times bigger than Los Angeles, and 117 times bigger than Vatican City. And the best part about it, it's going to be 100% sustainable, fully running on renewable energy. Neom City will take its energy from many different types of renewable energy. From solar panels which will generate 40 megajoules of energy per square meter, and from wind turbines powered by an average wind speed of 10.3 meters per second. The city is unique because unlike most other cities that are built in circles, it's going to be a 105 mile long strip of city. It will stretch across the northwestern region of Saudi Arabia and be at the very epicenter of world trade, bordering the Red Sea. About 13% of the world's trade flows through this sea as it's connected to the Suez Canal. 
The location of Nguyen City is just extraordinary, as 40% of the world's population will be able to access the area within four hours of travel. Another insane feature of this city is that there will be no cars and nature will be accessible within a five-minute walk from any point of the city. The usual roads and streets will be changed by wide plazas and spacious boulevards where people will be able to walk freely. However, there's still going to be public transport. The entire city will be built in three layers stacked on top of each other. The bottom layer is called the Spine Layer and it's going to be designated for AI-enabled ultra-high-speed metro. The middle layer is called the Service Layer, where the entire infrastructure of the city will be hidden from the public. Finally, the Pedestrian Layer is where people will spend most of their time. By 2030, Neon City is expected to have a population of 1 million people and have 5 million tourists. It's projected that the city will generate a GDP of almost $50 billion, making it pay for itself in just a decade. There's much more to say about this smart city of the future, and the very least we can tell you is that the future is here. That's it for today's video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos like this. Let us know in the comments down below which of these cities impressed you the most.